So hello everybody and welcome to your 22nd C Sharp XNA tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial we're going to be expanding upon what we learned in the last tutorial. Uh, so we learned about the time span in the last tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning on how to create a, a, a media player. Uh, so a very simple one but we're going to be expanding on what we've learned in the last tutorial to make our code a bit cleaner, more readable and, and more effective. So, as you've noticed in our time span, uh, we, re we repeat a lot of things. What we repeat is the uh, the play time and the end time. So we repeat the seconds and converting it to minutes, etc., etc. So if we had a function to do that for us, uh, or a method. Sorry, I'm talking C C plus plus. But if we had uh, a method to do that for us, uh, then that would be great. So uh, we're going to essentially do that. So right now I'm going to make a, a private method uh, called, um, what should I call it? I'll, I'll put display time. Sorry, what just happened? Okay, some random thing just popped up. <clears throat> okay, so display time. And then here I'm going to take a, a time span uh, variable. So off the bat, I'm gonna uh, take two things right here. So I'm going to take the minutes, and I'm going to take the seconds. So right, right now I'm gonna say it's equal to time span dot minutes, and the seconds is equal to time span dot seconds. Okay, now one thing I forgot to do is put this to string. And gotta convert this to string type. Okay, so uh, I put private string uh, display uh, display time because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be returning uh, a string type. So, uh, yeah, it's giving me the error because I never returned a value yet. Okay, so we, we stored our minutes and we stored our seconds. Okay. Uh, so that's simple enough. So what we want to do is that we want to say that if uh, seconds is less than 10, then we will return we will return minutes plus sorry yeah plus uh plus colon zero, and then we'll put the sec plus seconds. So if it's like uh. If it's like nine seconds, I'll say like or into like one minute, it'll be one minute colon zero nine instead of one colon nine. So it essentially makes it better in that sense. Uh, and then we'll put that if else, then we return uh, minutes plus colon plus seconds. Uh, so yeah, this isn't uh, seconds isn't of an integer type, uh, so we have to change it to an integer type. So we could say that we do int parse the seconds. Sorry. So this will essentially change the string to uh, integer type. So you do m parse seconds to see if it's less than 10 seconds, and if it is, then we'll put a, a zero after the colon. Okay, so simple enough. So so we have our our method right here. So for our methods, so f as for for doing all this stuff, uh, our method handles that for us. Okay, so we can get rid of all that stuff right here. So all oh, in our in our draw string command, what we essentially have to do is this. So we erase this, we do display time, and we put in our time. So first I'll put the play time, and then we'll display our time. And right here, all I have to do is erase all of this. Sorry put display time and then put in the end time so let's test this to see if it runs correctly uh, font oh sorry I deleted that like an idiot but yeah 
so we have a sprite font font so if we run this program uh, everything should run smoothly so it displays our, our, our minutes and our, our seconds uh, so I don't know why it's not displaying it should be it should display the minute and stuff there right but the minute is not displaying so that means we we did some we made a mistake in our program uh, so, so let's check out what we did so notice what I did right here I said that return minutes uh, is equal to this and stuff like that uh, th that was that was my bad. I was supposed to change that to a plus sign. Okay, uh, so let me run this again to see if everything is okay. Okay, so everything runs smoothly. So it shows the minutes and it shows the seconds and etc. etc. So it shows everything right there. Okay, so so we got the we got the time down. Uh, uh maybe you want to summarize the time or whatever. So we got the time down. So what we want to do is we want to make a, a a new string called a uh, song name. Okay, and the song name is going to be equal to the file name or whatever the song is playing. So song name is equal to bgm dot name. Okay. So that's our name right there. So we're going to want to display the song name as well. Sprite batch dot draw string. So we have our font. You might maybe want to change the font for this. It's up to you. But we have our song name. Uh, our position. We, we could put the position at uh, vector two dot zero and we will put the colors red okay so we we have our song name displayed on the screen